vlog started here. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is the first time I am officially vlogging since the last video that I just put up talking about kind of how to get out of a rut and I picked up the camera a few times like during that period and it, like just didn't feel right but now I feel like I am coming back into my confidence, coming back into what I want to share with you guys and feeling more myself and I'm excited to vlog today. So welcome back to the vlog. Welcome if you're new. Please be sure to subscribe. Join our little healthy lifestyle family here. My name is Ashley and I'm going to be vlogging a full what I eat in a day vlog on my up to be a five in one plan. But really for anybody who is looking for a little bit of healthy lifestyle motivation or anybody who just wants to come along for a day in my life with me as we continue to go towards our goals, that's what we're here for and coffee. We are always here for the coffee. So today is Saturday. I've got a training this morning. We do boot camps for us as Optavia coaches on Saturdays, and I'm gonna tune into that. I've got a couple errands I wanna run today. I actually want to drop off a huge, I have this like big thread up donation bag. So what's really interesting is as I've been making strides in my journey, I realized that I needed to donate some clothes. When we originally left on our trip, if you guys don't know, my boyfriend Zach and I are currently traveling on adventures from A to Z, which which is where we've been traveling for, I think it's almost been, I did the math the other day, it's almost been a full year of traveling because we left like end of April in 2021. And we've been traveling from like Airbnb to Airbnb, like kind of seeing where we might wanna live one day. We left Denver, then we went to Phoenix, Scottsdale, Houston, Dallas, and somewhere else very, very soon. So stay tuned, I'm very excited for that. We've been traveling for the last like year or so. And initially when we left, we donated and sold like everything that we had in our house. We were just like done. We were ready for a fresh start. We could only carry what we had in our vehicle, which at the time was like a little tiny white Subi. <laughs> like it was like not very big and we had to really get rid of a lot. Now we have a truck, thank God. Like we've got more space and we can like put stuff in there. But even on this trip, a lot of my clothes that I wore at the beginning of this trip don't fit anymore. And I was going through my closet and they were all like too big on me. And I felt frumpy in them. Like when I put them on, because they weren't form fitting, they were just too loose. I was like, I just don't see myself wearing these. Like I just feel like they are too big on me and I deserve to like feel confident in my clothes. And I'm not like completely buying a full new wardrobe right now. I wanna like, you know, obviously keep basics in my closet that fit. And then obviously when I'm completely at my goal weight, then I'll look into buying more of a full like closet full of stuff. But I just wanted to get rid of the stuff, bring in the new. And I actually have a membership with Fabletics. If you guys don't know what Fabletics is, it's in, it's like a women's activewear loungewear company. Um, and I love their stuff. I wear all their stuff to the gym all the time, but they also have a partnership with Thread Up, which is where I think you can donate your clothes and they are sold for like a much lower price to anybody who's looking to like reuse clothes, but you also, 
get like a credit for if you're sending in your clothes, you can get a credit towards Fabletics if you want. So I figured I would do that. Usually I just drop them off at like whatever arc I can find or anything like that. But this is cool because they pay for the shipping and everything and you just stuff it in a big bag they send you. So I think I'm gonna donate that today. It was like kind of crazy going through those clothes and seeing how big some of them really were on me, but it really has been such a big shift for me in the last like few months. I just am so excited that there's a fresh start happening and we've got like smaller clothes we can fit into. So I also picked up a couple like small basics at Target just so that I could have some more like clothes that just fit regularly and fit a little bit better. But I'm gonna donate my older, bigger clothes today. I am gonna get ready for the day and I'm gonna bring along the camera. I have already had fueling number one, which you guys already know was my golden chocolate chip pancake. As always, I have one every single day and I always look forward to it every single morning. So I've already had that. And then I am sipping on my coffee, which I was gonna tell you guys, I did purchase some new Nespresso pods. If you guys are also on the Nespresso train, just like me, welcome. Isn't it so much fun? So I purchased the Nespresso like trio, I don't know what you would call it, like variety pack off of Amazon where it is three what what sounded like delicious combinations. It was hazelino muffin, which I think is like basically hazelnut. There's caramel cookie, which caramel is like my thing. If anything caramel, I am always for that. And then vanilla custard. Those all sounded delicious. I have been taste testing them and kind of seeing what I think. Honestly, they're all pretty good so far. I did the vanilla custard today with my oat creamer. My nut pod cinnamon swirl so good honestly i really think that's my favorite nut pods almost all the other ones that i've tried have been good but that one i think is my favorite because it's the consistency of oat milk but it's like obviously not full-on oat milk it's like way less in carbs and sugar and all of that kind of stuff but the cinnamon swirl i love cinnamon and it is more of an oat consistency so it froths up a little bit nicer than some of the other nut pods i would say three tablespoons of that counted as one condiment for my day so i have finished up my breakfast i am gonna get ready for the day get ready for our boot camp and i'm excited to be vlogging again welcome back thank you so so much for all of the support on my last video that was like overwhelming support for everybody just being open to me being honest and vulnerable on camera and just knowing that i've got your guys's support really does mean the absolute world to me knowing that i can open up with you guys and feel like we've got the warmth of our family just here to rock with us no matter what season of life that we're in so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna bring the camera along and let's get started trying a new shake today, right? Potentially disastrous one. Why? Because I bought chocolate life greens instead of mixed berry life greens. They had mixed berry life greens. Double chocolate plant nutrients to help support immune and digestive health. I haven't been getting greens with my breakfast because it's too big. Yeah, so. okay. And then vanilla protein. Rice. Apparently I'm rice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then regular milk though, not almond. I might switch to almond, I don't know, I just have this left. Okay, and then berries, frozen blueberries and strawberries. Look at that. Okay, so real quick, what is the plan that you're following right now? This is not five and one approved, everyone. This is the De Zach plan. Definitely not. This is the muscle building plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's pretty much a three and three, but when you get down to maintenance, it depends on what your goals are. Like the three and three plan works pretty dang well if you're just trying to maintain. But if you're trying to build muscle, it totally depends on how much you weigh. You have to add in more protein. How much protein you're getting, yeah. So I'm on a three and three with basically some extra stuff so I can maintain my workout that I do five to six times a week. Is this even heavier protein? Like has more, it says whey. It's with whey protein mm -hmm. and more protein in it. Yeah, there's, right? so yeah, the Optivia shakes I think have 11 grams of protein. It has 30 grams per Oh my serving. God, 30 so grams. So it's three times the amount of protein as Optivia shake. Wow. And then this greens, what's in this? There's no know. protein in this. This sounds healthy though. This might be really gross. <laughs> I had this in the, at the, at, when they made me a shake at Lifetime. I love this little tutorial impromptu of you trying the shake. <laughs> okay, whole milk with vanilla protein base, double chocolate greens, strawberries, blueberries. Blend it. Gotta smell it first. What does it smell like? 
This smells really good. This smells like dirt. <laughs> Eight ounces of milk. Apparently this container calls for two scoops. Two scoops for 30 grams of protein? Yes. Or is it 60 if it's... No, it's not like the... Because these scoops are smaller than the, the ones that you get at GNC, so... So we got this at Lifetime. If I could just throw my two cents out there to protein companies, make all of your scoops the same size, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> One scoop of this stuff. One scoop of our greens. This was like, because I had this at the gym, and it was kind of like how you put like spinach in your shakes. Like it sounds gross, but like I couldn't taste it at all. Blueberries, frozen. Strawberries. Okay. I don't think you need that many blueberries, honey. Add the strawberries. All right, so we got to 146 and slightly over one serving. One serving of just fruit? I think it'll fit. Okay. That's all I had to add. Actually, I need to get creatine here. Oh, you're doing creatine. What is creatine for? Um, you know, that's a fair different video. <laughs> It basically video. really helps you if you're working out. Is this your is this your vlog now? Uh, it can be. Are you vlogging <laughs> what we eat in a day to gain muscle? I would muscle. To prepare a better speech for your channel <laughs> if I was going to explain what it does. It Give us the small version of what creatine does. It helps provide more water and nutrients to your muscles. So muscle growth, kind it, of. Yeah, it helps with that for sure, and in recovery. Okay. All right. Is it good? Pretty good. What does it taste like? Ice cream. Really? <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure I just created some new elements on the periodic table. <laughs> this tastes like absolutely nothing I've ever had. Is it good though? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna call your cooking channel, honey? Food that's bad for mustaches. <laughs> and this has been recipes with Thor. <laughs> I feel like we need like a muscle pump. <laughs> okay, so really quick, just to let you guys see what this looks like. This is like the massive, I mean, it doesn't look that big on camera, but it's actually like really big. This is the thread up bag that I'm gonna go send off for, I guess it's like kind of like donations. I literally like filled up this entire thing. And what's crazy is, I mean, a lot of this stuff is just like Amazon, Target, like Old Navy and things like that. But this is what I was, XXL. I was extra, extra large in almost all of these. I have jeans in here from Old Navy, which I really don't even know what size these were, but they did fit at one point. These are 16s. And literally, I have a clip that I put on my Instagram of how loose these were and how I like desperately needed to get some new jeans. And when I went through that phase, I just decided to look through all my clothes and realized I really needed to like get some downsizing in all of them. What's even more funny about these jeans is the fact that like, I went a long time wearing all of these clothes because I like really wasn't ready to commit to like getting anything new. And this was the kicker. So I was legitimately wearing these jeans and we were like coming out of Target. It was me and Zach on like a weekday and we were like doing a quick like Target run. And we were coming out of Target and it was like a little chilly. So I like wanted to run to the car. <laughs> And these jeans literally fell like halfway down my butt. <laughs> and it was so embarrassing. And like, I obviously, I mean, I just had like a thong on and my entire butt was like showing. We were like, um, I think we need some new jeans. <laughs> Anyway, gonna get rid of all these today. I have already bought a couple like just basics. Just wanted to get like a couple short sleeve, long sleeve tops. And I am now in a large, which is very different for me. And I'm not talking in the plus size section. We're talking in just the regular section. And I bought larges and who is she? I don't know. I can't tell you the last time I was in a large, but I'm definitely no longer in a 16 and I'm definitely no longer in an XXL or at my heaviest, which was like, I think a one X. So we're doing good. You guys, I'm going to get this off to UPS today and we're going to continue the journey. I'm excited to fit into some smaller things and keep trucking. <laughs> Wait up, ain't got no time for that I've stayed up, I was hoping that you would change your ways Wake up, you blew your final chance Make up, I'm trying but I cannot be mad at you I don't know how you got me weak I should leave this to give Your body's calling me for real My love's like an enemy Stay with to the morning I hate when you leave me I hate 
Like we've reached the point of no 